Who was actually the worst president ever? The president of the Selena fan club. Selena was a popular Mexican-American singer in the late 80s early 90s. The president of her fan club shot and killed her after being confronted about embezzling money. Assuming president just means leader of a country, not counting Hitler, easily Paul Pot. Just supremely evil and his actions go under the radar because it happened in country the West rarely thinks about. Steve, senior high-class president, class of 1992. You ran on a platform of getting porno mags in the school library. It's been 30 years Steve there are still no porno mags in the school library. Ferdinand Marcos, basically starved our nation. And the Dan people still elected his son to be the current president. Light skin tone face palm. Dot and probs every single president in the PH. Edit yeah, Filipinos aren't the best at electing leaders LMAO. I.D. Amin. Ferdinand Marcos. The president of my HOA. Yolanda Soldivo. She was the president of Selena Quintanilla's fan club. She murdered Selena Quintanilla in 1995. John Tyler is rarely mentioned, but he gets my vote. I'm reading his biography right now. He is the only U.S. president who renounced his American citizenship after leaving office in order to join a nation making war on the United States. He literally committed treason after leaving office. Idi Amin was a real nasty prick. He never really got his comeuppance either. Gianni Infantino, president of FIFA. Sought by controversial. ETA I'm gonna stick to American presidents because that's where my strongest understanding of history is. But I'd go with James Buchanan. He was the guy before Lincoln while tensions between states were increasing rapidly and instead of actually doing anything he just kinda let everything boil over. I think a strong argument can be made for James Buchanan. He literally let the United States fall apart on his watch and took no action. By some accounts he even shipped armed supplies south so the rebels could seize them. I'd guess Paul Pot or Mugabe. To everyone saying any of the recent US presidents none of you are considering that all of them were saints in comparison to Paul Pot, Ferdinand Marcos, or basically any other one of the popular answers on this post. I'd argue every US president is probably better than some of these people. Who can pick just one, history is full of bad leaders. Great Thanksgiving Conversation Starters Andrew Johnson Torpedoed reconstruction and firmly entrenched civil rights issue in a prebellum era. We are still fighting our way out of that. President Scroob. One, two, three, four, five. That's amazing. I've got the same combination on my luggage. Paul Pot. The guy before O.J. Abraham Lincoln. James Buchanan. You can basically blame him for the Civil War. My college drama club president, dude was in charge of a pizza party and he messed it up bad. We all ended up only getting one slice each. Let me tell you about Jacob Zuma. Probably Andrew Johnson. Dude fucked up reconstruction so bad we still feel the effects today. The president of my cricket club embezzled funds for the end of year trip for their gambling habit. Not a president, but King Leopold II of Belgium. This guy is arguably up there with Hitler and Paul Pot. I will spare the details. US presidents, I'd put my money on James Buchanan. Don't see anyone mentioning Woodrow Wilson, sneakiest but probably most evil American president in history. Largely responsible for an array of things, from U.S. imperialism in the Americas, widespread segregation, early government opposition to privacy protections etc. If we're talking U.S., Andrew Johnson is pretty inarguably the worst. Fumbled reconstruction so badly that none of the problems the Civil War was fought over got solved and sowed the seeds for the racial and cultural disharmony that still exists today. 
we had this really good club called the He-Man Woman Haters Club and our freaking president, Alphafa, fell in love with a girl. Nixon committed treason in order to prolong the Vietnam War before he even got elected. Watergate is more well known but less of a crime, really. Nixon was no joke. Hunter S. Thompson seemed to sum him up quite well. Ferdinand Marcos Sr. Runner-up Rodrigo Aoa Duterte. Second runner-up Joseph Estrada or Gloria Arroyo, depends on who you ask. Emerging terrible president Bongbong Marcos Jr. Geez we have such an abundance of crappy presidents in the Philippines. Andrew Jackson engineered several genocides to make room for more slavery. President of what? President of our local Hell's Angels chapter? On second thought, the politicians are probably worse. Whoever is the president of FIFA? Ever? Andrew Johnson. Andrew Johnson, hands down. Torpedoed reconstruction and set the stage for decades of racial terrorism, segregation, and oppression because of petty personal vanity and his inability to see beyond his own interests. Rest in piss Andrew. Robert Mugabe it is. Most historians cite James Buchanan as the worst US president. They are probably right. Vladimir Putin, even though he's a dictator he calls himself president. I had only one president in my life. So, I think it is good way to say that he is the worst. So, I chose Putin. Andrew Jackson. The whole trail of tears thing. Keep in mind, terrible presidents are enabled by followers who were equally terrible or chose to look the other way. Woodrow Wilson screened a movie at the White House that featured the KKK as heroes. Assuming you mean American? Reagan, literally all of our current problems can be traced back to him. Woodrow Wilson. Racist gets thrown around a lot, but Woodrow Wilson was actually a blatant vicious racist. Puts on hazmat suit to enter the comments. Warren Harding. He probably would have been the first US president to do jail time, but he died in office. Edit grammar typos. Buchanan. Woodrow. Fucking. Wilson, 